We thank you for being here to tell us a little bit about uh, some of the progress that may be being, ma being made. But I think if all of us understand uh, the terrible, horrible things that UN's peacekeepers are doing to the people they're supposed to be protecting. Uh, the sexual abuse, uh, the, what they're rendering to the populations that are in this helpless situation is beyond belief. And I think all of us on both sides of the aisle uh, get very frustrated with the process focus that takes place at the UN but the lack of results that occur. And again, I understand you guys are working hard. You're working within an environment that uh, I find less than satisfying uh, on every level, whether it's at the Security Council and keeping uh, agreements intact or whether it's this kind of thing. Let me just make a statement. Um, based on what I know, and uh, maybe I don't know everything I should, if I knew right now that a UN peacekeeping mission was going to go into North Chattanooga today, which is where my wife is, I would be on the first plane out of here to go home and protect her from the UN peacekeepers, especially if they came from certain countries. I'm just telling you, so here I am as chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, and if I knew that the UN was sending peacekeepers into my neighborhood, I would leave here immediately. I would drop what I was doing, I would catch the next flight home, and I would go home and try to protect my family from the abuse that they put forth on the very people that they try to protect. And you think about, that's in North Chattanooga, you think about in some of these isolated places where people are held up in camps, where young girls are subjected Young boys are subjected to this sexual violence by people that we're paying. The United States of America is paying. We're the largest contributor, and this is taking place. So look, I know you're here today to, to, to share with us some of the progress that's being made. This is not you doing this. I got it. This is not directed at you. But I can just tell you, I am disgusted, disgusted by the reports by the actions of U.S. peacekeepers that U.S. Tax or taxpayers are paying for. And I hope that somehow out of this hearing and other hearings and other actions, it somehow we'll figure out a way to reel this in. Again, if I knew it was happening, if I knew they were going to Chattanooga, I would leave here immediately to protect my family. So with that being said, I look forward to this. I look forward to this hearing. I want to thank our ranking member for his desire and cooperation in having this. I thank you for your service to our country, uh, but I hope out of that service, we as a nation will figure out some way of ensuring that the very people that are sent to protect people are not doing the dastardly, terrible things that they're doing to populations that are very vulnerable. Uh, again, thank you, and I'll turn it over to our ranking member.